Good morning, everyone, and welcome to IWA's first ever Digital World Water Congress. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all. Greetings to all of you online, wherever you may be. We're so glad that you're participating in our first virtual Congress as we at IWA strive to adapt to the restrictions and rise to the challenges brought about by the current pandemic. One Water, the circular economy of water, integrated water resources management. All of these terms have one thing in common. It's the recognition that we're going to have to increasingly access new forms of water that we thought previously were unusable, and that we're going to have to pay more attention and be more systematic thinking about the impacts of our use of water on other people and the downstream environment. First, we will enhance promotion of water conservation through education and enhancement measures on increasing water use efficiency. The fibre optical cables installed in the wastewater pipe are pulsed with a laser. The detector end of the DTS unit captures this light, records and stores it. We here offer the new insights into optimised asset management. Um, I, can, I can say that it is possible to use this flexibility in the, in the algae composition um, for the wastewater treatment process and it is also possible to react um, to environmental changes. Within our model, then we can estimate the, how the chemical will partition between the solid and the water phase, as well as the water and the air phase. And once we have this, uh, we can make a simplifying assumption. With greenhouse gas emissions taking center stage about so many of the discussions on net zero targets and... To dose from solid copper electrodes, which actually enables a dosing at very low range and the flow proportion to, to the water to be treated. Low oxygen conditions promote biological and surface catalytic iron oxidation and removal in filters, which means that filters can be operated at higher filtration rates. With regards to iron, I wouldn't be so concerned. Ammonium, I would definitely see a delay, especially moving from first step of nitrification to the second. I am extremely happy and honored to be the recipient of such a prestigious award. I have been a I'm an IWA member for around 35 years and I always felt very well received and embraced in all the activities I had with the association. The thousands of women leaders we know and work with us are not stuck in the past. For them, reviving traditional systems of rainwater harvesting and conservation is also about innovating sustainable approaches. We live in extremely challenging times. I'm speaking to you from India, where COVID-19 has ravaged cities and villages alike but unsafe water also affects hundreds of millions here and worldwide. I'm really deeply honored for IWK to have been selected as the recipients for IWA's Professional Development Award 2021. Just as climate change has sparked grassroots activism across the planet, the water crisis too requires massive mobilization of people who truly care about our shared future.